Hello, West Michigan. Welcome back once again to Alive and Well. I'm your hostess, Anne Marie, this afternoon filling in for Linda Balkama, and I am with the two people that make things happen. This is Mr. and Mrs. Bob Skolnick, Bob and Merle Skolnick. And guys, how long have you been involved with VNS? Let Bob answer. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say, I've been involved with VNS for probably at least 20 years, maybe more. Um, back when it was part of Hackley, I was uh, chairman of their board, and I'd been on their board for about 20 years. So I, I, I am not, they've, it's a different structure now, but um, I was involved for a very long time. What got you initially interested in becoming involved with VNS? Well, I've done a lot of nonprofit and uh, board work, and they were looking for a businessman, and they asked me to be on their board. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the hospice, um, which I had been involved with VNS, and um, we saw a need for a hospice program, and um, I was part of the movement to do that. So that's where that's how really this building originally this this part of the building came about let's talk about the healing center for a moment how did you how what is your involvement with that obviously you're you're um well basically what happened with the healing center was um when mercy decided um that the uh, residents there were too many beds in this community for the for the residents they decided to close the residents so they had this space which is about 25% of this building. It's a fairly large space. Um, and there, there, there is no um, actual physical space devoted to counseling, grief counseling, healing in this community. So they decided to make that part of their community benefit. So it's free. So um, as part of hospice, uh, there are some things that um, an organization is required to do. I mean, part of it is sort of putting back into the community. Now, this is more. This is over and above that, but this is a fantastic facility, and there's plenty of space here for um, groups to meet, for one-on-one -on -one counseling. Um, even though I, you know, I we have never really had a pet. That, like, a lot of people, um, when their a pet passes away, that's a major event in their lives. Extremely. And uh, they've got um, people set up to help with that. Um, I think it's I think it's great. I don't know. This is a beautiful facility. They re they basically redid all of this, and uh, uh, Mercy has put a lot of money in this place. So I hope the community takes advantage of it. That's fabulous, and I and I do want to say I want to commend both of you for your support. You're involved in so many community things. And we see you everywhere. You're behind so many so many good things in this community. Well, and, but one, one question I have for you, Merle, yeah. and everybody, as a fact of trivia, Merle used to teach me. You were my right a teacher. long time ago. A long time ago. We're not going to date my age here. No. no. <laughs> but Merle, tell me, you're so community involved as well. Um, yeah. Isn't it? It's so neat. They're in, they're working with kids now too. I was really impressed with that seeing that they're going to do some children's programming here, mm -hmm. helping kids get through group. That's a, That was important for me, and I mentioned that when Denise had said, you know, that the, these are the things we're exploring, mm -hmm. because children need help, too. And I know that they do some things at Child Abuse Council, but, you know, with abused children, I know there's lots of groups, but this is, uh, this is different. This is very specific. And yes. so, right. And so uh, I was very happy to walk in the, into that room and to see the bookmarks that they had done and everything. So, and I, I, I want to say that the one thing when Bob and I, we've been married 43 years uh, last Friday, and for one, uh, when we were young, we wanted to try and make the Skigan the best place that it could be. And that was Bob's goal right from the beginning, and I've kind of joined it, but he's been the leader in doing that sort of thing. That's amazing. Bob, is there anything you'd like to add? No, I just, I'm, I'm you know, I, I, I do want to say that we, um, we were in the beginning, we really were pleased to be part of this as a hospice residence, and it's unfortunate that it uh, changed. But I'm really, I'm thrilled with this. I think this is, this is an unserved, unmet community need, and I think they're gonna be very, very busy here, so. 
I'm 100% behind this project. I, I had to I have to say, my grandmother actually was a resident here, and the she, the, the care was 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 wonderful. Yeah. I mean, it, it was exemplary. You know, Anne, let me let me say this: when when the residence was open, there was hardly a week went by that somebody didn't come up to me and and just thank me. You know, tell me about their their mom, their dad, their sister, and aunt, uncle, who had stayed here and the care they got. And it felt good. I, you know, even though I had nothing to do with it, the care, it felt terrific. And I'm hoping now that I'll get some positive feedback out of this, too. Okay. So yeah. I'm, I'm glad we could do it. And I, I do want to say that just because VNS has given up the hospice facility does not mean that they've given up on hospice oh, no. care. I know they have a very big... Uh, program that works with people that are in need they of hospice. They have a very, a very large and um, really good hospice Absolutely. program, just not a residence, which is not necessary for in most cases. DSETV is actually going to be working with VNS over the next year. We're going to be doing several programs uh, focusing on each of their programs and actually a couple specific on the healing center. So we're looking forward to that. And I know we've got the ribbon co cutting coming up. So in closing, I just want to thank you both once okay. again. You're tremendous people. Yeah. Thanks and for I'm what so you do pleased. too. I'm so pleased with what you do. And I am so happy to see how wonderful you, you know. Thank you. You just. Hi, I'm Denise Garman. I'm the Executive Director for Mercy VNS and Hospice Services. We also are proud to announce the grand opening of the Bob and Merle Skolnick Healing Center right here at our offices on Terrace Street. Um, this is uh, Beth Bolthouse. She's our bereavement coordinator. I'm going to let her introduce herself and talk about a little bit about the program. Hi, my name is Beth Bolthouse, and I am the coordinator of our bereavement program here. And we offer hope and healing to anyone who's suffered any type of loss, whether it's a loss through death or a loss through other some type of life issue, such as a divorce, uh, loss of a pet. Uh, we offer services for people who um, struggle with low self-esteem, uh, financial issues, things like that, any type of grief and loss issue. And we offer also not only adult groups, but also counseling and support groups for children and teenagers. And um, it's just our desire that we help our community to be able to heal from the many ways they have been affected uh, through the many losses in West Michigan. You can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 231-672-4663 or 231-672-HOME, H-O-M-E.